All right, so let's view our final uh, project and how things are actually looking at this point. So what we have now is I have this issue, uh, this uh, PHP desktop extracted folder in here on my uh, drive. So this folder right here, which I've named my point of sale is what I will copy when I want to move this uh, project to another computer. Okay, so that's the folder. And also on that computer that I'm installing this, I need to install ZAMP so that the uh, client can be able to use the MySQL database. And then in the database, if I click on admin here, in the database, uh, I should have the appropriate, um, uh, what's this? The database should be here. So in this case, it's called point of sale DB. So in order to move this to another client's computer, you have to export this database. So you can go and click on export. Once you click on the database, you click on export, and then you say go right here, click that. And then as you can see there, uh, we have point of sale DB SQL, and you can carry that with you. So I'm just going to cut that from the downloads folder. And then I will go back to my point of sale folder right here and in here, anywhere really, you can just paste it. Usually I like to put those things here. So at least now you have a database ready for deployment. So when you install it on your client's computer, you can import this database. So if we are to open this in our text editor, you will see that it's simple SQL queries uh, with the data in here. So if you don't want to add the data, you can just remove the insert statements here. If you delete these, the no data will be added on those tables, but the database will still be created. Because where you are going, you won't need these particular products. These were just for testing. So you can easily just delete these lines or you can leave them and then you can delete them once you import. Uh, just like this, you see, cells as well. You will not need this, definitely. So you can delete these insert, state, insert statements for the cells and so on. Now, also when exporting, you can choose custom here, and then you can tell it to not get the data. So here it will ask you, what are you exporting? There's that option here. Where is that option? <laughs> Actually, there's one where you choose whether you want to export uh, the structure or data. I think uh, that option is only there when you're exporting one table, it seems. Uh, because I can't see it. Maybe I'm getting blind or something. Uh, yeah. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. You can export the whole database. And then, like I said, you can just go in and delete the insert statements like these ones that are here. You can see insert into, then you delete all the ones that have insert into. Delete those. And then you won't have any data. You have the tables created but no data. But of course the users table, you may need to leave that or what you can do is delete the others that are not admins. So this is the main admin. You can leave that one, but delete the others. Okay, or simply enough, you can leave this as it is, import it and then go in and delete the records. That's up to you. So when you get to your client's computer, you will have to, once you install ZAMP on that client's computer, you can now go to PHP my admin and then create the database called point of sale underscore DB. And then once you click on it, you go to the import section and then you can browse for that file and import it. This is the, uh, what's this? The SQL file, which is in here, in here. So you click on that, open it, and then you can click go to import it. Then it's going to import everything that you see here. So since I wouldn't do that because I already have it here. And then once you are done with that, now you can move your folder, this folder, my point of sale, to any location on the client's computer. So you can put it on the desktop, you can put it in drive C, wherever it is. Drive C wouldn't be advisable because usually you need permission to write anything in drive C uh, in case you're writing files and the like, but we're using the, the database. So maybe that's fine as well, but you can copy, put it on the desktop, put it on drive D or another drive 
and then the client you open this and then you can say something like uh, uh, create shortcut and once you create a shortcut let's rename uh, this shortcut here for a second let's rename it this shortcut will be called my point of sale of course let's remove all of that so that's a shortcut right there and then now i can cut this shortcut and put it on my desktop so put the shortcut here instead replace yes now if i am on the desktop the client can just double click and we have our software running so let's sign in email at email.com and then we put our password there and as you can see things are running as intended so now we can click around and add items to our our cart here or remove some items if we need to okay add some more and then we click clear or if we want to clear all uh, everything is working clear again if i want to search for something specific maybe crisps there we go it's working if i'm searching for biscuits it's working so let me add a few things and then finally click on checkout and do that okay now we don't have a printer so that's why we're getting that but if we had a printer and it would print the thing would close after a while so close okay great so things are working as intended continue okay and then when we are done if we go to the admin section uh, here we can see what sales we've done okay uh, what the graph view says so there's a graph there another graph and another graph okay uh, back to table and then uh, products we can add edit products if we want to click on here uh, add a new product you can add a new product here or you can click edit to edit an existing product or you can click delete to delete a product you can come to users add a new user here as you wish uh, add the gender etc etc or you can edit an existing user and uh, you can also add the role what role do you want them to be admin supervisor cashier etc etc and uh, choose an image for them if you want so for example this one has no image this is mary let's click edit let's choose a file i'm just going to go to the desktop here for a second and images uh, let me just choose one of these that one for example and let's uh, save okay so there we go if i cancel this now you see the user now has an image over there so everything seems to be working fine if i click delete i can delete that user if i want the dashboard itself shows us the total products total users and the total sales so far and here you can log out if you want and let's see what do we have here nothing nothing it seems hmm. okay pretty cool all right so that really covers it create user you can create a user there point of sale you're back to your point of sale so this really covers uh, everything you need to create a point of sale so uh yeah i hope uh, you have learned something through this series uh, something useful so you can actually build something for your clients and make some money all right so i'll see you in another series